other story, or one of the other stories we're following, has to do with immigration. The governor of Iowa has now signed a migrant bill, and it's it's similar to the controversial Texas law you've heard us talk about so much, making immigration violations a state crime. Texas law currently held up in the courts. Iowa's version likely to face similar challenges. Art Del Cueto joins us with some perspective on this. Art is the vice president of the National Border Patrol Council. So it's good to have you back, Art. We've talked about these uh, laws a number of times. Uh, your view on all of this goes state to state, whether it's Texas, Louisiana, now Iowa, um, with the locals versus the feds. Look, it, it comes down to individuals that I, I don't even see it as the locals versus the feds. Okay. I see it to people that want law-abiding, you know, uh, individuals and people that just don't care about the chaos. Because, look, make no mistake, regardless of where uh, you're going back and forth on these issues, this administration caused these issues to begin with. Their rhetoric alone, even before, you know, they, they uh, were in office, was come one, come all, we're going to allow it. And, you know, obviously, that's not the proper way to do it because there's so many people that are taking advantage of those loopholes. They're coming across, they're asking for asylum, they know they're getting released. Uh, two points on that. One, mm -hmm. they're not going to show up to court because they know they don't have a real asylum claim. Two, no one's kept track of them. People don't really re realistically know where these individuals are. All you got to do is look at the past, uh, you know, two administrations ago, when you look at the Obama administration, Remember all those unaccompanied juveniles that you all covered and talked about? Yes. Well, all those unaccompanied juveniles, they're full-grown adults. Ask this administration where they're at. No one knows. And unfortunately, the same is going to happen with these individuals. No one's going to know where they're at. So it's been a free-for-all. So it's up to the states and then individuals that actually want law and order to try to push something in order to... Uh, accept law and order in our country. Let me put up what um, this Iowa bill does specifically. I think people know uh, SB4 in Texas. Now, in Iowa, what they're talking about, uh, this would take effect, by the way, July 1st, is criminalizing legal entry, re-entry as, as an aggravated misdemeanor. So you'd face up to two years in jail. It would give judges power to order deportation of undocumented immigrants. State agencies, law enforcement can transport migrants to ports of entry to be deported. As I said, Louisiana's thinking about or putting forward something similar. We'll see what the courts do, but but again, with you, Art, I started with this, uh, and you said you don't really accept the premise of kind of locals versus the feds. So what is it? So the relationship, you know, Border Patrol on the federal side uh, with these local officials enforcing law would be fine, you're saying? Yeah, I think I think the problem that people don't understand is the boots on the ground are the ones that are end up suffering. There's a lot of finger pointing towards the agency and towards DHS, but the leadership of DHS and the leadership of Border Patrol, they're in their offices. Who's taking the brunt is the men and women that are out there putting their lives on the line. That's where the finger pointing goes. And I can tell you right now, the, the men and women on the front line, they get along perfectly fine with, you know, the other law enforcement in the area, and they want law and order. These are individuals that chose a career in law enforcement because they want law and order. These are not political appointees, you know, that are looking for their next bonus or they're waiting till they retire before they decide to be vocal. These are the men and women that are in the front lines they're the ones that are suffering, and they all want law and order. And that's all we're asking for. I said it a thousand times. Illegal is not a race. Let's not turn it into a race issue. Okay. We want individuals to in this country. We're pro-immigration, but you, there has to be a betting system. There has to be individuals that come to this country that want to be here, not just, you know, a blanket and come one, come all, and then lose track of who's here and who's not. Okay, Art. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.